Hello people, how are you doing? Time for another Tops and Flops. It was a great weekend of football, exciting games across the world. I'm DG. Titus is here. Well, Titus, uh, you had quite a great weekend, yeah? Uh, absolutely. It was a fun weekend. Uh, some unexpected results, some shocking, yeah. you know, performances, some players and also referees. Yeah, referees. Let's talk about the flops for this weekend. And uh, yes, another weekend, another referee. Quick pause in this time. He was the man in charge of the game between Burnley and Arsenal. And right at the death, he messed the whole thing up, you'd yeah. say. You could say that, that messing the whole thing up. I mean, I mean Paul Singh just couldn't wait for the game to be rounded off yeah, before yeah. Um, you go into that um, slip mode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, it was a crucial moment. It was at the dearth of the game. We thought everything was over. And we could pardon him, he has the liberty to take this game, you know, a little seconds uh, away from the supporters at the time. Because yeah. uh, Shelley was... Uh, Practically handling the ball or handled the ball, bundled it into the, uh, into the goal, Burnley's goal, and then Paulson at that point it was there. The assistant referee also was present, and both could not arrive at the very concrete decision not to have counted out a goal. Well, terrible one, uh, you'd say, for Burnley because they lost very valuable points uh, in that one. All right, let's talk about another flop this weekend Barcelona. Uh, they were supposed to or expected to take advantage of Real Madrid slipping up earlier. Uh, let's go Madrid, of course, had won earlier in the day as well. But Barcelona against Celta Vigo, again losing at Balaidas. Uh, uh, one of the highlights of that particular game was the fact that they conceded three goals in, in, the, 30, first in the first day in 30 minutes. Absolutely. Something that hasn't happened in 15 years for Barcelona. And it was a great fight back. It wasn't enough for uh, Luis Enrique. And of course, definitely, the overall um, you know, performance, horror performance yeah. was not really up, uh, up missing, 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 missing. Missing, Messi, absolutely. Yeah. And then Sturgeon was a highlight of the whole flop in that particular game. Okay, uh, I think the, the, the less we say about that, the better for him. <laughs> Another flop this weekend was Manchester City. Maybe a little harsh, but we're talking about a side who went into that game against Spurs, having not dropped any points in the Premier League. And they went so good in that game against Spurs, you'd say. Absolutely, the game was already tagged, a very crucial one, you know, mm -hmm. the unstoppable versus uh, the unbeatable. Uh, in the end, it was Spurs who came out victors by beating um, City. And very well too. Very well. Could have been 3-0. Two unreplied goals, and it tells a lot about how you could dent your intentions and in your psyche of your players. They got Man, Man City. I think for me, it was not a good performance. As they get a goal against Spurs to show that you're still the high scoring side, even if the key players were not in that game. But I think for City, it was a great let down for me. All right, not the worst case scenario, but back to the drawing board, certainly uh, for Pep Guardiola and his men. Let's talk about our tops this weekend. And Absolutely. we'll start with AC Milan, okay. uh, trailing by three goals to one. In eight minutes, they turned it around. Massive fight back right in front of their home fans. Incredible performance for AC Milan. You know, great fight, like you said. Uh, it's very unusual for AC Milan, uh, but taking that game to their opponents, as well, it was an amazing performance. Backer was on the score sheet. Uh, Locatelli came with and a brilliant header in the end. Yeah. They gained a back in the lead uh, for that particular game. It's a spirited performance, and such could revitalize AC Milan's chances Absolutely. of being a, a force in the Serie A. All right, let's leave AC Milan and talk about another side that really uh, got us, you know, excited this weekend. Enugu Rangers. Uh, well, the Nigerian Professional Football League had been coming. Of course, we knew they were close to it. But yesterday, they capped it up in style. Four new versus El Canemi Warriors, and yes, champion. I wish I was there, uh, you know, at the end of that game to be part of the, you know, celebration. Uh, 32 years of waiting is over for them. Uh, they're now champions uh, and great performance, especially at the time of the season when pressure heightened for Rangers, the likes of uh, uh, Wicked Tourists, Rivers United, were pushing, pushing, pushing hard, hard but yeah. they kept their ground, maintained their lead and went all the way to clinch at the NPFL title for this season. All right, just as Titus said, 32 years of waiting for Rangers. Uh, finally winning the Nigerian Premier League. And finally, our tops this weekend, AS Monaco Titus, 7-0 away at Mets. Massive. Uh, the, the last time I heard uh, great news about Monaco was really, really way back. Way back. I mean, not even in the 90s. I mean, way back as, as far as the 80s. As, as Monaco, the Shisot dominance, it was a goal-scoring jamboree for them. And was a great performance for, uh, for, uh, for Monaco. Well, what do you expect next would be what? Let that sort of performance go and make a standing result on the log concerning the Liga. Yeah, even better for Monaco. They had six different goal scorers in that game. Really massive win. Uh, probably the biggest 
anywhere in the world Absolutely, this weekend. this weekend. Oh, you never know. All right, that's it, Tops and Flops, this weekend. Uh, well, we'll be back for another edition. We'll be back for even more on Tregong TV. Remember to subscribe and like and follow our social media handles. For now, we're out. Peace.